Hey guys, welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC tutorial. I'm your host, Gilly Gill. Today we're talking about sequences. Building a sequence is kind of frustrating in a way that sometimes you might not know what are the settings that my sequence needs to be. That all depends on what kind of video you want to make. Likewise, if you want to do a 4K video, same, your sequence needs to reflect that. So creating a sequence can be done a couple ways, and to show you that, Let's hop in. All right, so right back where we left off, we've imported footage. We already know uh, the workspace and how everything's laid out. Right now, we're gonna pick the in and out points of this first clip, and then we're gonna create a sequence based on what we wanna upload. So we wanna make a YouTube video that is HD quality, 1920 by 1080 at 59.94 frames per second. The easiest way to do that is to double check the resolution and frame rate of your current clip. So you can do that by right clicking on the clip in the project panel and then go to properties. In this properties window, you're going to see the information that you need to know. The image size is 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate is 59.94. Great. So that's exactly what we want. The shortcut here to create this sequence is actually really simple. All you have to do is choose your endpoint, find where you want your clip to start, press I, and then scrub ahead, find where you want it to end, and press O. And here's where the magic happens. All you have to do is grab this video clip right there in the center and drag and drop it onto the timeline. So the timeline now has a sequence named C0001 based on our first clip. And if you look in a project panel, you can see that C0001 has a different icon beside it. That icon is the sequence icon. If you look at the difference between a video clip icon and a sequence icon, you can tell, you know, they're very different things. Just like before, if we check the properties of our video clip, you can right click on that, go to properties, and you can see that your sequence named C0001 is at 1920 by 1080 at 59.94 frames per second. Basically, when you create a sequence off of a clip, the sequence will be created using the settings of that clip. This would not work if you want to create a sequence that's 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, in which case you'll need to do this. In the project panel down below, you can see a couple of icons, the trash icon, and then this little guy right here, it looks like a post-it note. That's the new item. So click that and then go to the top where it says sequence. Now, a lot of times you're going to be using the DSLR. So for the sake of this demonstration, we'll use the digital SLR presets. And then you see the resolution. So we're going to choose 1080p. And then here's DSLR 1080p 30 frame. And if you look to the right, you can see that your resolution will be 1920 by 1080 square pixels, non anamorphic 16 by 9 at 29.97 frames per second. All right, that's what we want. So click OK. And we have a new sequence that we can name. Let's just name it new sequence for fun. And if you right click that sequence, go to properties and verify that this is a 1920 by 1080 at 29.97 frames per second. And within that dialog box where you're creating a new sequence, you can choose any of those presets that suit whatever video file that you want to make. That's pretty much it guys. You've created a new sequence based off of a clip and created a new sequence based off settings that you want. Which brings us to the end of this video guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't with notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one.